Hi there, my name is the Arm Tactical Manager here at Prima, otherwise known as the Almanac. Welcome to the latest video. Today we're going to be discussing the NKB 1000. This is one that you guys have asked for in particular, to go to the set of this network keyboard. Uh, the setup does apply to both IP and HDCVI products to be able to control the recorder itself and also PEZ using IP or the UTC of the HDCVI recorder. So in the box what you do get is the keyboard itself, as you can see there, so you get the power supply, an instruction pack, a patchy, this is a network keyboard, um, a USB and also some green connector blocks. Um, even though there's a network keyboard, it does have the ability to be connected to a PC using USB and also via 485 using the green termination blocks. So, so the back of the keyboard itself, you have the power connector, RS232, network adapter, uh, the green connector blocks and also the USB connector. Um, we're going to go through the network side of this only today and we'll go through the setup. Like I said, this does apply to both HDCVR and IP products. It is quite simple. Let's get a setup and go through it together. Just to give you a little heads up walk at using you. So I have my NVR, 16 channel NVR with one camera connected. That one camera is a PTZ and also the NKB1000. As you can see, all I have connected is the power and the RS45 cable. Ignore the mouse, that's just connected to the recorder. So before we start, we always recommend you create a user for the keyboard itself. Um, so no other devices can log in as credentials. Um, we have done further videos on our YouTube channel, how to create users on NVR and XVR. If you'd like to give that a watch, you will know how to do that going forward. So let's continue with the setup. First and foremost, you need to press setup on your keyboard. Log in with the basic credentials. So the password for this is 68. This can be changed in the keyboard settings itself. So go into our menu. As I said, go into account, we have the ability to change the pin um, to log into the keyboard, but in this instance, we're going to leave that as it is. Go to system, go to network. Uh, DHCP needs to be off because we don't know our devices are auto finding themselves. Then we need to give this device itself an IP address. So I know the range of my device. So my MBR is 77, so I'm going to give the keyboard uh, an address of 78. Seven mask is exactly the same, and also ensure the gateway and port is the same. Once those are done, go back, go to our zone. Um, you can give them IDs as you want multiple devices. You can also name the device. Um, we're going to leave these blank for now. The type is MVR, because we can to a network video recorder. I can change these just by using the joystick itself. Let's go back to MVR, and again, as you saw, the link changes. As we're using the network side of it, we leave it as they are. So change this to 20.77, which is my uh, IP address on my recorder. Scroll down. And obviously we have the, the user, I'm just going to delete those out and put in the credentials I set up earlier. Uh, I can change uh, from character to numerical just by pressing shift. As you can see that changes over, so I'm just going to enter my... There you go, and then enter my password to delete your password out. There's my new credential there logged in. All I do is I press out all the way back. Oh. Log back into my keyboard. Zone control, as we know, we're using ID zero. Press enter. If you log in, this, these are the details you're gonna get, and then you'll be able to control your devices by using different keystrokes. So for this instance, uh, I want to be able to move the PEZ. Um, I would press 1 PEZ, as you can see it gives me my cursor keys, I can then move the PEZ accordingly, and what I'll do is I'm just going to adjust the camera angle so you can be able to see these um, this functionality, just bear me one second. So as you can see I now put the keyboard on top of the MVR, you can see the camera and the screen all in one view, so if I now move the joystick as you can see the camera changing on the screen. We do also have the ability to do so if we press escape. Uh, you can change the spit of the images on the screen. So we want one cam. As you can see that now pulls up what camera number one. I can use my joystick to adjust the camera numbers. If I had multiple, multiple camera images, these would also change. Go back. 
Um, what I can also do is I can change this to multi-way splits. So if I press four multi, it gives me four-way split. Nine multi, gives me a nine-way split. I go one cam back to my single screens. Again, if I want to then control the PTZ, one PTZ. I now have full functionality of my PTZ to the network keyboard. So I have full functionality with live view and full PTZ control all using the network keyboard itself. The mouse is over here, look. So I didn't use any of it, no trickery. I'll put it over there, check it out of the way. There you go, all control there via the network keyboard. A great cost effective way of utilizing PTZs and the recorders. Um, great bit of kit. So please like, share for more content. Thank you very much for those who watched the videos. There's loads more to come. See you again soon.